Welcome to the fourth chapter. We have already installed Cake PSP and configured Cake PSP. Let's try to create work on controller view and model. What is controller? Controller handles the request. Controller make decisions what to do. Controllers update the data by using model and controller also create and render view files. So this is the representation, so the graphical representation of model controller view. The controller is the mid layer, model is the behind the controller and it talks to the database, talks to the database and the view is the basically the beginning of the front layer of your application. And the most important point here, the database is only by accessible by the model only. Controller controls your application request and response. And the view basically it is a HTML that is will be displayed in your browser only. So how to create a controller? Controller basically manages a single model. Model means the database table. One database table basically represents by a model and if the database table is user stable for example then the controller would be users controller the name of the controller this is the naming convention so if the table name is users so you you, you have to by default you have to create users controller it may change you can also change it but by default you can create a controller called users controller and cake PSP provides a command line tool by using that command line tool we can create controller model and view so that command line tool is cake bake so we'll see this cake bake and use this cake bake to create model controller and view in coming classes coming chapters so there is another very important factor is that action. Action means the function method of controller. If the controller is uses controller or some controller contains a function called index function, then this function automatically renders or calls a file called index.ctb file. So this is a view file. So I'll see, I'll show you this view file, how to create this thing on view. But the important bottom line of this particular uh, page is, if the function name in the controller is index, then it calls a file called index.ctv file. So let's try to find out this thing in our project folder. So this is our project, new cake. Inside that, this is a SRC folder. Inside the SRC folder, we have a controller folder. So by default, there is a controller, uh, three four controllers are there. You see this, this is the way to write the controller. These are the controllers because it consists of the controller uh, words, keywords. This app controller is the application controller by default. It is the parent controller. If you see this particular exam in this particular uh, file, you find out if this is a class, class app controller, and it extends controller. So this is my controller, app controller is the parent controller of all my controller. So I can create my controller here. In this folder, controller folder, there is a component folder is also there, but outside the component folder, there is some files are there already created by the cake PSP. And these are the files, are controller files. And if you see the application folder, it contains a class, app controller. And this is my parent class. I can create my own. So, this is the model, 
And this, if you examine this model, the two files are there, two folders mainly are there. And table, this is empty, entity, empty. So table represents one table inside the database. Entity represents a class that represents one row in a particular table. So entity and table will work on this thing. So this, that is another folder called template folder. So this folder is complete, some elements, email, error, layout, and we'll work on this, this template folder. Before that, let's try to create. So if you want to create a controller, you might, you might create this particular controller by using manual method or you might create by using a command line tool called cake bake. So I suggest you to create one by using a command line as well as you create manually to understand how it exact, exactly works. So let's try to create by using a database table first. By using the database table, we can create our controller model in view. So say, you go to your browser again. This is my database, new cake project. And inside this database, I am to create a table called events tables and four fields. And just like I have to use some ID, this ID must be automatically in primary key. Then the name, I will create a table field called name, this is S700. We create an email. And this is also Zerker 100. Let's create another field called Bashir. Zerker 100. It's just a simple file in the table, consists of four fields. The name of the table is users table. And you see, there is my project folder table database, and this is the table users table. Now, what I have to do is I want to create some controller. So I want to create a controller. So, how to create that controller? By using the command line interpreter, you can create go to your command line. CLS. Go to your project folder. Inside the project, I have my project in XAMPP folder in your D drive, STCD, HD docs. And inside this, my project folder is a new cake. This is my project folder. Inside this project folder, there is a bin folder. So this is cake bake. I have to use this thing. So cake. So if you write like this cake bake and say enter, it will give you a lot of things. Cake bake, the following commands, you can generate skeleton code for your application, available bake commands are these are the commands. So we can create behavior, sale, component, uh, controller, uh, fixtures, form, helper, all these things you can create by using this cake bake. So what I want to do is I want to create a controller. So I'll use this command, so cake bake controller. So this command will is suggesting you the possible controller based on your current database is users. So I want to create this users controller. Say okay. So it is generating and creating the users controller. So if you go to your directory. And if you see, this controller has been created, users controller has been created. The table name is users, so it's kick automatically created a users controller of PHP. So if you see, this controller has some commands. Don't bother about this thing, I'll tell you this commands always. Because this is the important line number 12. It is saying, this is a class. The name of the class is users controller. The file name is also that users controller. It is extending a 
class called app controller this app controller is this is the app controller i have so in the inside this class we have some functions called index function automatically created index function and there is another function called view function this cake bake has been has created these functions inside the controller add function add functions is basically used to enter data into your database and there is the edit function in line number 73 is the edit function so these are the function has been these are the function view function so these are the functions known as action so i have index action i have view action i have these are the some actions i have so corresponding to these actions for example i have a index function so index functions this is function and these functions when you call this function it automatically call index.ctv file so index.ctv file it will call index.ctv file no where is that index.ctv file besides so inside this template folder i have to create a folder according to the users controller the name of the controller is users basically and i have to create this controller folder inside this template and inside this template folder you can create your ctv files so this is the function so you can create this template files so i do not have this users folder inside this folder template folder now i want to create this users folder that means the view for these particular actions template for these actions index add action and edit actions view action so this is the view action so this is possible by you go to your cmd file and con and again you just create a view or templates so just try cake bake i want to create some templates so if you say template it is saying the possible table to bake view templates is users because my table name is controller name users i want to create templates for the users so you just write yes i want to create a template for the users controller so say okay so it will create some ctv file you see inside this template src template source index.ctp view.ctp and add.ctp edit.ctp ctp stands for cake template c t p cake template so these files has been created if you go and see the template folder this is a folder uses folders created by the cake pick and it has created some file called .ctv file so this is the complete html file ctv file contains only html files so this is your template so when you go to your controller and call this particular function index dot index function it will render it will call it will display this particular index dot ctv file automatically by cake php so these two function this function in controller index and this are interrelated when i call this function index function it will call this file fine let's try it go to your browser and let's try to run our application i have just now created by using cake pick so this is my project folder name and after the project folder name you have to write the controller's name my controllers is controller is users controller as you see this is my controller the name is users 
followed by controller because this is a controller that's why this is users is the name of the controller so you just write controller then i want to call the action called index action so you just write as index okay now you see the function has been created this function called users is the controller index is the function name it is calling it is displaying the index.ctb file so this is the index function i am calling it is displaying this file let's check it whether it is calling or not so for example here i want to write testing so change something and see whether it is working or not it's calling the same file or not testing say okay go to your browser and refresh it the file now you see that is that file so if you create if you call a function as a controller calls the corresponding ctb file so this is how the cake php works cake php basically uses the controller function and the controller functions corresponding in ctb file will be called suppose function name is index for example the function name is add so the it will call the add.ctb file so let's try it so user c controller inside this con controller i have a function called add so when you click it is displaying this thing that means this particular thing is coming from your add.ctb file okay okay so if you change something you see that the same thing will be duplicated here in this so if you remove it so this is the basic fundamental of cake php how the cake php is work in the next class we try to create our controller model in view manually till then bye bye